Hello again, it is Ombra, the Prefect of the Winds Lodge at the Gray School of Wizardry. Um, it, it's time for another exciting video. I never know how to open these things. I even have a script to, you know, stay on topic, which never, never happens. So first of all, you know, it's August 1st. It is time uh, for your monthly check-in. Uh, please do that. If you're in the Winds Lodge, uh, I'd really love to see you there. But in any lodge, I know all the Prefects would be happy if you checked in. Also, it's uh, you know a reminder to post your completed classes. If you get a, a perfect score, we like to know that too on, on your final exam. Um, it goes toward our you know our, our progress toward earning the Lumos Award. And you know it is now it's it's August uh, the the equinox. It's it's in September, and our progress on the Lumos right now is there's no shame in being most improved player. It's never never too late to start, so so please do that by all means. So the first thing I, I want to talk about after that is is our new challenges for the month. Um, one thing I, I talked about doing last month, and I've, I've figured out how I want to do it. It's a scavenger hunt, and it's a photographic scavenger hunt. I have compiled a list of um, you know various things: uh, good luck symbols, bad luck symbols, symbols from different spiritual traditions, and uh, magical items that, uh, you know, any, any wizard might, you know, find useful. And you can find these, um, you can find like the actual item, for example, horseshoe. Uh, you could photograph an actual horseshoe. You could maybe see a horseshoe on a sign, that counts. Or if anything like shaped like a horseshoe, like a friend of mine said, oh, at Niagara Falls, there's the, the horseshoe falls. So, you know, you can be creative with this. The, the only thing you can't do is use pictures off the internet. First of all, that's that's plagiarism. Don't do that. But also, I really want you to, to go out and explore and find these things. Because in addition to the, I hope this challenge is fun, there's there's also some uh, some practical value to this. Uh, you, it, it's an important skill to, to pay attention to the world. We are, you know, the, we want to have a conversation with the universe, but, you know, the question is, are we listening? So in order to do that, you have to pay attention. So trying to find these things, it's, it, it helps you pay attention. You know, it helps you be aware of danger, helps you to be aware of, you know, omens, all, all kinds of things. It's just an important uh, to skill, skill to work on. Um, also, because there's a, you know a number of like magical uh, items like uh, like resin incense, for example, or or mugwort. I think I have amethyst on there. You might already have these things at home, and that's great. You're at a, you know an advantage there. Oh, God, my mouse. <laughs> um, but if you don't, you know, in the process of going to look for these things. You'll know where to find them in the future. You don't have to, you know, obtain them right now. It can be very expensive to do that, but you you might need those things. And in the process of finding, say, mugwort, you will probably also come across many other herbs, and you will know where they are. Um, I have one of the items is a picture of three different colored candles. Well, you got candles. There are all kinds of stores, but you go to one store and you go, oh, they have pink and blue and red, that's now something you know if you need those for, for a ritual. And going a little off topic there as far as, because I always go off topic. Um, just some helpful hints here. Um, Halloween is coming up, Samhain it's coming up. That's a great time to stock up on your orange and black candles. Those can be difficult to find at other times of the year unless you, you live near an, an occult store. But many people don't. So, you know, take advantage of that. Uh, in December, Hanukkah, you can get like all those skinny candles, multiple colors. Uh, you know, use a, like a little bit of sealing wax. You can put one of those skinny candles out. It burns like in an hour. Uh, you know, it's great. Um, you don't want to leave a, a candle burning for hours. It's, you know, it's a fire hazard. So, um, have I covered that challenge? Well, you know, it's it's a Winds Lodge challenge, and I will post the list probably with this video. I'll post it in the forums, and um, maybe I'll even in post it on the, the Facebook page, because if you're not a Winds Lodge member, you're still welcome to participate. Um, I can't give you merits for it. If you want to get merits for it, you know, maybe ask your prefect to steal this. You know, I don't know. I don't mind. 
we do try to help each other out when we can. So, you know, I, I would love to see participation on that, um, and I hope you have a really good time with it. My second uh, challenge is we have the, I think, is it the first of August? I think it is the first of August. Uh, Lunasa Lamas holiday. It is the, the first of the, the harvest holidays. And one of the ways that is celebrated, you know, the harvesting of the grain is making bread. So I've mentioned before when I, when I do the challenges, I try to have very diverse kind of activities. I don't want to focus on research because you need to do that for your classes. Please do that for your classes. You need to expend that mental energy. Focus it there. So for this challenge, I want you to create a loaf of bread, any loaf of bread. If you are into baking, you go, ooh, my, my, my time has come. And if, if you aren't, it's, it's something new to try, and I don't even care how, how it comes out. Maybe the yeast doesn't rise or it comes out of the, the oven uh, looking like charcoal. I don't care. You get the merit. Typically, though, the, the traditional llama spread is shaped like a person. So for a second merit, make your bread in the shape of a person. You can find instructions on how to do that to, on the Internet or, you, you know, be creative. Figure it out yourself. So have fun with that one. If you know, post the, the picture of your, you know, your beautiful loaves of bread or your beautiful disasters, you know, on uh, on the uh, in the lodge forums. And uh, okay, what's next? Okay, every month I have a, a feature challenge, and for this feature challenge, I chose um, attend a cyber ritual. So you have to attend a cyber ritual, write an essay, minimum of a hundred. 200, excuse me, 250 words. And the reason I chose that is we have our virtual conclave this weekend. So there is no rule that says it can't be a gray school ritual, you know, until someone decides, oh, no, it can't. But right now it doesn't say that. So take advantage of it. You know, it's, you know, it's easy. You can knock that out this weekend. So what else? Update on last month's challenges. I have we had the, the flat headmaster challenge. We took, you know, the, you know, this is not the actual one I used. My actual flat headmaster has been been all over the, the country, and and he's tired. In other words, I I, I don't know where it is. I'll find it. He still has some traveling left to do this summer. So even though that merit challenge is, is over, I, I think it's been fun. I think a lot of people have had fun with that, continue to do that. Um, I like to see the, the pictures. Uh, I think Headmaster likes them too. I, you know, can't speak for him, but you know, I, I actually saw him just last week at uh, at the Serious Rising Festival, and I haven't put the picture up, but I have this. It's kind of uh, kind of neat. Uh, the flat Headmaster with the actual Headmaster, so that was you know, that was kind of neat. Um, so yeah, so I met him at Serious Rising uh, Festival. This was actually featured uh, merit, and want to get. I will say about the featured merit, any student can complete them. You can and at, at any time of the year. So if you're watching this and you're not a Wins Lodge member, you can do these. You can still do these. Last month, it, uh, I talked about attending. Uh, you know, a, a pagan or is this upside down? This is upside down. <laughs> or, you know, any kind of magical festival. And I went there, of course, I said I met the, the headmaster. I brought a bunch of my, my books by the, you know, the headmaster. <gasps> Look, I found him! Oh my gosh! I was not expecting that. So yeah, real, real time surprises. I got, he signed all my books. Well, not all of them because I actually have more books than this by him, but I have over 2,000 books and not all of them are catalog cataloged yet. So I can't always find everything I own. Also there, I met uh, Witch Doctor Utu. Um, I, I have his book. This is a great book, Conjuring Harry, Harriet Mama Moses Tubman. He did this uh, Karen and Cross ritual to uh, to honor the uh, spirits of the Underground Railroad. He also he was there with the uh, Dragon Ritual drummers. They they were awesome. He was one of my my favorite uh, groups to listen to when I go to these types of festivals. Uh, what else? So, update on the mega challenges. We I don't know who the winners yet are because, uh, you know, Professor Kingsley is still reviewing all those. And so the, uh, I think the deadline on, I, I know the deadline on the uh, the challenge to, uh, you know, say the, you know, what is the, uh, 
you know, importance in modern times for, for wizards as, uh, you know, that was, um, yesterday was the deadline. I got mine in at the, the last minute. So yeah, that'll be interesting reading Professor Kingsley. I should apologize ahead of time. My writing style is, uh, is an acquired taste. I admit that. Uh, <laughs> there was also the, the challenge to draw a, a map of, of Second Life, and I didn't do that. And there's a reason I, I didn't do that. It is really embarrassing. Don't tell anyone this, because I don't want like the whole world to know this. I get motion sick when I go in there. I mean, it, it's awful. And it's weird because I can do things like, like read in the car. I cannot do like a video game at all, like to save my life. Like my kids will say, can you play with me? And like after 10 seconds, I'm like, no, no, I can't. I can't do that. So when I go into Second Life and we, we, we don't have teleports, it, you know, I try to walk to the Winds Lodge and be by the time I get there, I'm going, you know, it, it, it's, it's not good. So, but, but there might be light at the end of the, the tunnel. I had some, I've been having some severe vertigo issues in, in general, and it turns out I might have an inner ear problem, which is normally not good news, but I'm seeing a specialist on Monday. And if this can get straightened out, you know, hey, you know, I, I could be spending a lot more time in, in Second Life. So, but the, the map drawn thing, was not going to happen. I, I hope you all had a chance to participate in that. Uh, you know, good luck uh, winning that. Um, the only other thing I, I wanted to mention is my uh, my prefect ship is is nearly uh, completed. Uh, you know, I have to be ready to pass the torch on the um, on the on the equinox, which is not far away. If you are interested in this position, there are uh, there are instructions uh, in the the handbook which they've changed from uh, from in the past. So I think you have to write a, an essay now to, to qualify. It also helps if you know you are very active in participation in the lodge and we don't have a whole lot, but it is never too late to start. you know so so get in there, um, you know have some fun, talk to each other. One other thing I'll mention, this this festival that I went to, I attended with my best friend in, in the whole world. I talked to him almost daily for almost like the last nine years. I met him at a, uh, a non-virtual uh, grade school conclave. So you can form really good uh, relationships here. You know, take advantage of the, the social aspects of the school. So I'll close with, uh, you know, the, the airheads for life is... <laughs> Professor Kingsley would say, and a very blessed bee.